Progressive Technology is a market leader in CNC multi-axis machining using advanced modern machinery and additive manufacturing expertise to manufacture complex metallic components primarily for the Formula One market. We service most of the people on the F1 grid and the fact that we're 24 hours, 7 days a week um, and the size we are means that we're able to turn parts around quicker than the competition. That's the way you describe it, that one-stop shop for the Formula One customers. Four years ago, it was a big turning point for the company we moved into this building. There were three main objectives. That was to um, purchase machinery, employ good skilled engineers, and to set up 24-hour um, shift patterns so we could be 24 hours, seven days a week, um, supplying into the Formula One marketplace. Uh, we are now four years down the road. We have recruited 125 people in four years, and we have set up four 24-hour shift patterns around the clock. This vision is reflected in the company's additive manufacturing facility, where Progressive Technology continues to invest in the latest production technology, ancillary equipment and materials to ensure a high quality product in minimal time. A key part of additive manufacturing is the handling of AM powders, and Progressive Technology relies upon the Russell Ampro sieve station for this part of its production setup. For us, the Ampro from Russell Finex has been a fantastic investment. We've decreased our day-to-day -day turnaround time between jobs on AM machines, so we've cut that from about an hour to 40 minutes or less which is a brilliant man-hour saving day in, day out. Uh, but more importantly, it enables us to segregate our materials and to maintain them in a clean, closed-loop environment. So for us and our customers, the quality of the AM powder going in at the beginning of the process is absolutely critical. If you haven't got that bit right, if you've not controlled it well enough, then it doesn't matter what else you do, the quality of the part suffers. So we have to get that absolutely right at the beginning. At the end of the AM build, the build's finished, cooled down. We want to recover the powder from around the parts and with the Russell and Pro sieve station this is a really simple one button operation. So it's a really fast process to evacuate the build. We can do this in about five minutes which for our lead times is great. Once we've recovered all the powder from the AM build we move over to the sieving stage. We want to get rid of the oversize and that sort of thing, prepare the powder for use in the machine again. So we're able to control through presets the sieve activity, the duration of sieving, depending on how much powder we're working with and the type of powder or the specification from our powder supplier. We're able to control all of that to get the most effective sieve setup for that powder. Uh, it's dead simple for the operator once those presets are in, just press the button. Automatically runs an oversized removal at the end, uh, which keeps the sieve nice and maintenance free for us and the powder's ready to go back in the machine. With the previous equipment we had, maintenance sessions were a daily task for the sieve mesh itself. Uh, so we've removed that now to a six monthly task which cuts down operator involvement and time. It allows the operator to go off, do other tasks while the machine is sieving effectively because of its automation. And so some of the things we appreciate about the Ampro are robust design and it's hygienic and clean so we're not getting any contaminants in the powder, nothing's coming out of it. It's, it's also sort of mobile around our production environment if for whatever reason we need to reconfigure a cell or move it around, that's completely possible. It's also completely future-proof for us so we can use it with the AM equipment we have now with the layouts we're thinking of in the future, servicing multiple machines, uh, serving different manufacturers' machines simultaneously if we need to. Uh, it'll fit into pretty much any configuration we can foresee at this point. We've had an excellent working relationship with Russell Finex over the last year or so. We've been involved in the design of the Ampro to make sure it suits what we want to do with it. We've tested it out and have ended up with a system which is really suited to our needs.